small. <laughs> Let me tell you about the biggest and the tallest and the widest and the most humongous animal I ever saw. It was the Darby Ram. A ram is a male sheep, you know. It goes like this. As I was going to Darby upon a market day, I saw the biggest ram, sir, that ever was fed on hay. That ever was fed on hay. And if you don't believe me, sir, and if you think I lie, then you go down to Darby Town, you'll see the same as I. You'll see the same as I. That ram was fat behind, sir, that ram was fat before. It measured ten yards around, sir, I think it was no more. I think it was no more. And if you don't believe me, sir, and if you think I lie, then you go down to Darby Town, you'll see the same as I. You'll see the same as I. <laughs> now, Bill, that don't sound so big to me. You know, my pig Penelope, well, she's almost as big as that when she holds her breath. <laughs> Henny, I'm just starting. The wool grew on his belly, sir. It reached right to the ground. They sold that wool in London town for 40,000 pounds. For 40,000 pounds. And if you don't believe me, sir, and if you think I lie, then you go down to Derby Town. You'll see the same as I. You'll see the same as I. Well, the wool grew on his back, sir. It reached right to the sky. And there the eagles built their nest. I heard the young ones cry. I heard the young ones cry. And if you don't believe me, sir, and if you think I lie, then you go down to Derby Town. You'll see the same as I. You'll see the same as I. I don't know, Benny, but I don't think I ever saw a critter quite that big. Well, hang on to your hat, because from here on in, things get positively astronomical. The horns grew on his head, sir. They reached straight to the moon. A man climbed up in January and didn't get back till June. And didn't get back till June. June. I guess you're right, Benny. That's the most gigantic ram I ever heard of. Well, if he were to come to this here little farm, he'd flatten it sooner than you could say chicken little. <laughs> well, you may like this last part. Okay. The man who owned that ram, sir, was mighty rich and fine, but not as much a liar as the singer of this rhyme, as the singer of this rhyme. And if you don't believe me, sir, and if you think I lie, then you 